Hello, this is Martin from Maya Parts, and today we'll be going over the basic setup and operation of the M-Triangle PG-1S laser machine. Now, for basic operation, you're going to need at minimum the power and then the keyboard and mouse cords. Um, I actually have a couple of extra things here. The Ethernet port is really only required if you need internet access or if you need to um, update the templates. And then I also have a USB to VGA adapter so that I could hook up a, a larger monitor to the machine. Starting the machine is pretty simple. Once it's plugged in and the master power in the back of the machine is uh, switched on, you want to go ahead and press the galvanometer slash laser power button. What this does is it essentially turns on the, um, the hardware. Um, and then once this blue screen is on, you're going to want to turn on the power supply. What this does is it actually turns the built-in computer on. So there's essentially two power buttons to be aware of. The machine power, which goes first, and then the computer power, which is done second. Um, the machine will start booting up into Windows, and once that uh, setup is complete, then you can actually start working on the device. Now, for the duration of this tutorial, I'm actually going to be working off of a monitor, but uh, the built-in monitor that comes with the machine, although it's a little small, it is legible enough that you could use it um, specifically if you wanted to do that. Um, for me, just to do this presentation a little early, uh, easier, I'm going to be using a attached monitor here. On the desktop, you'll notice there is a orange M triangle icon. You're going to want to go ahead and double click on that icon and that's going to load up the built-in CAD software. This CAD software has uh, a number of built-in templates um, which allow you to work on you know any specific model that you might want to work on. Now as I mentioned previously for this demonstration I'm actually going to be working off of a monitor. Um, so to do that I'm just going to drag this window over to the uh, neighboring display here. Now I apologize up front for the format of the video. I actually don't have any screen capture software installed on this machine, but uh, I think this should do adequately enough. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Once the software is up and running, um, it's pretty much just a basic CAD layout. You're going to want to go over to the upper left area of the screen here, you'll, there's two fields. You'll notice one says brand and one says model. You'll want to select uh, whichever, you know, device brand that, you know, you're going to be working on. In most cases, I would assume that's going to be Apple. And um, at least for this demonstration, that's actually what I have here, which looks to be a uh, 8 plus um, screen. So once I have the brand selected, I'm going to go ahead and choose a model. As I mentioned, this is a 8 plus screen. Uh, once you have these two selected, you're going to want to uh, hit load. And the template should load up just fine here. One really important step is that once your template is loaded up, you're going to want to make sure to autofocus the laser machine. If the laser is focused to a height that's either too high or too low, the laser won't be as strong. So the way that you do that is you want to go ahead and get your device and you're going to want to move it over here to this pin. Now the pin is essentially just a um, kind of a height measuring tool. Uh, once you have the device under the pin, then all you need to do is just come down here to the autofocus button. Let me get that in focus here for you. Uh, once you hit that, the machine will start raising and lowering till it gets to the appropriate height. Um, it does take a little bit, but I'm going to uh, just kind of a jump cut to that part. So here we go. And just a quick note, once the device has finished doing its autofocus procedure, you'll notice that the uh, autofocus light here will light up. That's a focal length indicator. Um, alternatively, if um, you don't want to do the autofocus, you can use the go down and rise buttons here. Um, the machine, as you can see, the light actually turns off when it's out of focus. And you can, uh, as long as the device is actually, you know, under the pin, you can use these manual controls and it'll still light up when it's in focus. So as you can see, there it goes. Uh, once the device is correctly uh, focused, you can go ahead and take the device and place it back under the operating section here. 
And once your device is on the operating surface, you're clear to begin the preview and burn process. Now once this template is loaded up, you're going to want to make sure to turn your attention over to the right of the screen. There are two buttons here at the bottom that are kind of the basic operation of the machine. There's a red light and there is a mark button. You can also use the F1 and F2 keys uh, respectively. The red light essentially gives you a preview on the device. I'm going to go ahead and hit the red light button. Um, a little menu pops up basically letting you know that the laser is in operation. And when you look here at the device, you can actually see that there is a red laser sort of outlining the, um, the device. This red laser gives you an approximate um, measurement I guess an, an approximate idea of where the burning will actually be taking place. So when you have this in place, you're going to want to make sure to, you know, just double check to make sure that the appropriate areas are being highlighted. That means like camera cutouts, earpieces, um, in this case, a home button here at the bottom. If you're doing back glass display, um, rather back glass, you're going to want to make sure that it's not going to burn into the charge port, the, you know, um, camera frame, things like that. Um, if everything is lined up pretty much to what you want, then the next thing you're going to want to hit is the mark button, or in this case F2. And once you hit the mark button, it'll actually start the laser burning process. And that's the basic operation of the M-Triangle PG-1S laser machine. Uh, again, go ahead and leave any questions in the comments section. And if you have any uh, things that you've learned on your own, please you know, share them with us so that we can share with any other people who might be viewing this video. Thank you again and have a great day.